Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Matskis, and today is Fabric Chat. So we're finding it harder and harder to find a clean place. <laughs> it's so bad. I even told mom's like, well, wait, let's just go live and do it on our nice carpet area. Nothing and else. And nice painted you guys walls. <laughs> No, it's so bad. I am still videoing uh, the progression of stuff. It's getting but, worse. Oh my gosh. It's not getting better. It it makes me absolutely crazy. Well, it's hard. You don't, there's not a spot to, I mean, I don't even to know how to form words. <laughs> you can't do it. There's not one spot you feel like, oh, this is pretty. This is nice. I can sit here for a minute and think. No, no, no pretty spots. This, this only what's in frame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right not, by the front not door. Not over here. <laughs> right, uh, off camera here. Ew. Ew. Yeah, there's fabric over there. Before. Ew. Uh -huh. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, do you hear Tracy? <laughs> We're going to show you. Well, I, I'll, I'll try to put those all together so that you can see. But We might have to show on um, box opening tonight because um, you guys know that we um, pre-record the day before. Um, so, it's actually for us. It's actually Tuesday late afternoon um, that we're all filming this and chit-chatting with you guys. And at the moment, we don't have we have one little lone mode box to open for box opening. Mm -hmm. So, um, it is possible we will have more chatting than yeah, box opening. Than box opening. But then we can show you some other things. But we don't understand why they're not because we told them for a couple days that they couldn't come to the back door. And then, like, UPS, we haven't seen him for a week. And that was just for Christmas. We told them our kind of Christmas schedule, but then that we'd, everyone would be yeah, here. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I think that it, I think there's a whole bunch of stuff that's on hold that is all of a sudden going to show up. So I we'll think so, too. I think there is also a sub. Um, there was um, uh, one driver who did come to the back door and dropped that little box of Shannon um, at the door. Um, and I had told her, I said, hey... Tell them we're open every single day. Bring us our if stuff. If you've got other stuff, let yeah. her rip. Yeah. And she's oh, okay, but I'd never seen her before. So it's definitely a sub. It's not And it's not I Alex. think that I think that somebody jinxed us because somebody had said, and I could never remember, you know, who it was, but somebody on one of the box openings or whatever said, You can't really tell me that you get twelve boxes yeah. twice a week. I mean, we like, used to. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we really do. We get twenty boxes yeah, we a week. We are a big shop. We get mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. And if you're new to our shop and you don't or you to our channel new to our channel and you don't know what we're talking about we do a fun little coffee with friends um, we have something really fun to talk about today um uh just for about half hour 45 minutes on wednesday mornings and then wednesday nights at five and sunday afternoons at 12 30 we do a box opening yeah. so we have this great big brick and mortar store uh 5, square feet over 10,000 bolts and we get new fabric every day we get boxes every day we only open them twice a week and so it is true that we get 20 boxes yeah. a week. Not this week. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. I think because all of the guys do. I mean, it's always Alex, our UPS driver, and Elliot is our FedEx mm -hmm. driver. And they knew what we were doing. We keep them informed just because, you, you Yeah. Know. But I don't know why we're not getting our stuff. So we'll see what happens. Tonight you'll find out for sure what happened. So yeah, if not, we have other things we can show you. <laughs> We it's don't know. Clarence night. It's going to be exciting. And we'll show you some fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, so we'll see. And, and we'll show you a dirty closet. Who knows? We'll show you a dirty closet. <laughs> because the other thing is that's what we're doing for the next couple weeks still, is we're doing this throwback Thursday is what we're yes. calling it, where we have to, uh, um, you would see. There's just stuff everywhere. And we have to make room <laughs> because we're, we're, I don't want to say downsizing, but we're moving things around where we're losing one whole room of fabric. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we're showing you cool collections, cool things that we found in closets, cool things that were um, clearancing. So mm -hmm. kind of, um, uh, you guys really liked the Jungle Buddies last week. That was Yeah, Jungle popular. Paradise. That was good. Jungle Paradise. But there's a lot to choose from. I don't know yeah. why that poor little line just didn't ever... I know, it was super but cute. Now it's pretty much gone. No, there's but, a few panels left or whatever. And that's okay stuff, to wait, you know. And yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, it, it is true that sometimes what happens is we sell out of something within an hour. We always feel bad about that. Sometimes that happens. And sometimes something else is prettier mm -hmm. and takes the front well, and center. And I also think being as big a shop as we are, and it's every week there's six new collections you get to see. Um, seven collections ago, there yeah. was that really cute kid line. Or 
And now you may have forgotten about it. Our mm -hmm. website is huge. Our store is even larger. If you mm -hmm. aren't really sure what you're looking for, like I put, you know, if you've went to our website before, you'll see in the fabrics, there's just one little thumbnail and the name of the collection. Mm -hmm. um, so if that does not grab your attention, like, ooh, I'm into bright florals. Yeah. Or, ooh, that looks like a little tiger. You yeah. know, you might not even think to click on jungle paradise. Well, I'm not looking yeah. for jungle. Not thinking there's also really cool Hidden textures gems in there. In yeah. there. Yeah, so, I mean, I get it. True. I get it. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. And I think also people come... <laughs> I don't want to say complain. Nobody really complains, but people will say that it's hard to find things on a website. And I think that is true, mm -hmm. but that's not Brianna. It's not, it's mm -hmm. the search engine is what it is and you have to put yeah. in the right word. And we even find that here when we're searching for something, when we're ringing somebody out, sometimes it takes a little mm -hmm. bit to find it. So, and I do think, I, and I think it's different from us who are used to going into a cold shop, wandering, looking for things. It's a whole different wander online. Yeah. You can put blue texture in, but uh, I can't promise it's going to come up because it's going to be called daffodil dots mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with daffodils and it's not really dots, but it's blue tonal. So that's where we have that color wall section on our website that it's just what I think when I remember to put it in there mm -hmm. that anything texturally that could be a, a support shadow piece. marble. Yeah. That might work and yeah. it might not be what you think is color wall to, you know, yeah. So I don't know. They're yeah. crazy, but you know, with six of us, you know, we try to help you. You can email us, call us, text us, you know, yes. we'll do it that way too. All right, so we have a couple of things. Uh, we have some updates that we want to share with you. And um, one thing is everybody keeps asking about Harper. So, of course, and don't get it confused, Brianna's daughter's name is Harper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody was super excited to see her at the end of the <laughs> show on Sunday. And, oh, that's so cute to see your little, two little redheads. Yeah. Yeah. And they so were so they were cute. happy to see Harper, who is five. And then there was another little girl, Harper Strunts, and she is turning nine on the... Oh, 28? 20, yeah, I was going to say uh, 7th, so somewhere End right of the month. And um, we have, we will link again. Um, we've asked her to do an Amazon wish yeah. list. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of a cool thing. Just go to Amazon. Um, click, if you click the link that Brianna's going to put below, mm -hmm. if you click on that, she's actually went to Amazon and picked things that, you know, she kind of it's would like. It's like a baby registry. It's Whether you've like done that. it on Amazon or, yeah. you know, his and hers, whatever it's, those. It's just like a mm -hmm. a wedding registry just for a child. Uh, and it happens to be on Amazon. Yeah. And when you buy it, it drops off. So that way mm -hmm. she doesn't get two of the same thing. Yeah. So we've asked her, and she's been working on it. It's a lot of games, a lot of coloring books, a lot of, yeah. you know, things for kids in the hospital. And... Um, um, and also it'll have her ship to address. So Amazon knows to ship it to her grandma, Donna, mm -hmm. and Donna will get it to her. Um, so anyway, so and if you don't know who we're talking about, Harper is a little girl that got a, um, she ended up with a virus, a very specific mm -hmm. virus um, that she got in October, and it um, uh, caused very, very serious uh, organ damage, and it um hurt her heart to the point that she now needs a heart transplant mm -hmm. and she will not leave the hospital until she gets one. She's been in the hospital uh, in uh, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. is where she is. And she's she's actually, been there since, she, since October 14th. And she's actually staying at the Ronald McDonald house. This was going to be the update. Yeah, which I think is fantastic. It's really, really nice. So she's still that. right there on the hospital grounds. She mm -hmm. still has occupational therapy twice a day, physical therapy mm -hmm. twice a day. She has lab draws three times a day. She rattled off all of this stuff. So she's still right there on the hospital grounds, but she's in the Ronald McDonald house with other people that are kind of, I mean, you have to be careful who is there, yeah. obviously, because she's very immunosuppressed while she's waiting uh, for a heart. And she won't leave the Ronald McDonald house, but it's very, yeah. very nice because it's a little bit more normal uh, yeah. than being in a, a, a hospital room. So anyway, so that's where she is. And again, she'll be there uh, certainly for her birthday, the end of mm -hmm. the month. And so we are just trying to just shower her with Christmas cards and shower mm -hmm. her with birthday cards. I will get a number for you. Uh, Donna has been sick recently, yeah. and Donna can't visit her when she's sick. So Donna has ended up with some sort of a nasty flu bug. And so we will get a more specific, uh, yeah. more than that, uh, update in terms of numbers of cards. And, so cool. uh, and make sure she's on your prayer chain 
Um, so real important. But anyway, so that's what we know so far about Harper Strunts, and we're still pushing for birthday cards. If you still need the address, do we have I'll, that? I'll also um, link it in the description below. It'll go Same to Donna's card. PO box. Just make sure you put Harper's name on it. Donna, I'll make sure it gets to her. Mm -hmm. And then again with your Amazon one, just it can be mailed straight to her, or you can use yeah. that same. If you're going to shop local, you can use that same yeah. PO box to ship um, a gift if you'd like to. Yeah, super nice. All right, prayer chain, birthday cards. Fantastic. We'll give you a better update. And then also prayer chain, I just want to mention one other little thing, is our friend uh, Lori. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. some of you guys know Lori and Ben. Um, uh, they are our friends from Louisiana. We've talked about them many times, uh, Lori, um, Kirby. Uh, uh, they came up the first time just to kind of visit and they stayed out in yeah. one of our bungalows and That's they fun. were here, our friends from Louisiana, in October, were here the same times as same time as our friends um, Amanda and Linda from Kodiak, Alaska. <laughs> and what was kind of fun is Pa and I were sitting out on the deck with um, Linda and Amanda drinking Amanda's homemade wine, and Ben and Lori. And Ben and Lori were freezing to death. <laughs> um, had October is beautiful here. So cold. And our <laughs> friends from Kodiak, Alaska, are going, "Oh my gosh, I'm it's wearing too many here. shirts here." Yeah. And uh, Brian and I, Pa. And I were just uh, perfect. Yeah. So anyway, um, fun memory. And then um, Lori and Ben have come to some retreats, and mm -hmm. then they came with us. Those of you guys that are on the um, Columbia River cruise um, know them. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you know Ben, because Ben is the one that I banter with all the time. <laughs> Our mighty squirrel hunter. Our squirrel <laughs> hunter. And, and hamburger helper. Hamburger helper and sender. Carol. <laughs> uh, so he's Pa's friend. He is a mm -hmm. kind man. So Yes. A doting husband, very, very good husband, very nice man. I pick on him because I love him. But uh, uh, what you guys need to know is Lori is in the hospital. Um, Lori has scleroderma, a um, uh, uh, pretty serious uh, disease that she battles um, quite a bit. But right now she has COVID, and Oof. she is in the hospital with COVID. So we are just asking for her to be added to your prayer chain. Yeah. Um, if any of you want to, some a lot of you guys do know her, um, and if you would like to send her a card, email me, and I'll send you her address, and you can um, send her or Ben a, mm -hmm. a little a little get well card. And but most important thing is uh, prayer chain. So Lori Kirby uh, with COVID mm -hmm. in Louisiana, um, and then um, all right on to. Um, other things, uh, we talked on Sunday's box opening about how it was just sort of a casual comment when I said that, you know, there might be something I want and Pa will say no. And people were surprised that Pa ever said no to me. And I said, well, oh, barely, I don't really barely. mean he says no. I, mean, I just he, mean I might have to he'll ask say, she, Yeah, I was going to say, I, uh, if she asks again, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, if Whatever. I have to pull out the big gun. But you better not make is. me chicken. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There, I have my Wiley. He very rarely but, says um, no. Yeah, he doesn't really say. That's what yeah, a lot no, of people doesn't. said. So wait, what? Wait, back up. He says no. But um, but the comment was that sometimes he'll say no to me, or he'll think my idea is silly, or whatever. And all I have to do is get Brianna to tell him, and it's perfect, brilliant, no question, Fantastic absolutely idea. do it in a second. Mm -hmm. And everyone, oh my gosh, is I don't even thing? know. Is that a daddy it is thing? a thing. <gasps> it is a daddy daughter thing. Is a thing. Dang. And they all say, oh my gosh. In fact, somebody, I took a picture of the comment. She says, um, it was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> where are we here? I didn't she, realize that it was. It ever, is. I thought it was my secret weapon. She says, so Molly Smith says, oh my gosh, all caps. I am only at 831 in the video. <laughs> and I had to go and share this with my husband. She says, uh, that's exactly what happens here, too. Always an argument with my husband, yet his daughters ask him the exact same thing, and he's happy. <laughs> I guess we're more normal than I thought. Thanks for all your videos. <laughs> so, as everybody said, oh, that, 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 that they didn't realize that it was a thing. And it's oh, nice yeah. to know that it's a thing. It's and a if thing. you don't know what we're talking about, if there's something ask you want, your ask your daughter to ask your husband. Say, oh, wouldn't this be nice if this couch were blue? We need a new one. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever it is. Paint and, the walls. I don't know. Yeah. It's funny. And you know what's funny is, I don't know, do you think it's a son-mother thing? I don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe I've been, maybe I've been tricked for years. And I have I never no know idea. It. I can't think and of my anything. My kids are still that, too young, though. I can't think of anything that the boys ever ask me for. And I also wouldn't be able to think of anything that they've ever asked me for that I've said no. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe I've been played. 
I didn't even know. Because I don't know that dad ever knew that he was played. He might know now if his he cut tell. Him. But, oh, that's another thing. Oh, so let me tell you this little thing. Speaking of pud buds, and we say pud buds because Pa, of course, works at the Wanapum Dam. At the PUD. The PUD. Yeah. The Grant County PUD. And so he works down at Wanapum Dam down on the Columbia River. He's a hydromechanic. And so we know that somebody down there, maybe more than one, they will watch things and then they tease him, say, oh, I hear uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, dad watches and then for a little while I, I have to so stop <laughs> telling you know, pa story you know what? because I get told on. The funny thing is when we went to the um, one of them damn tours. Yes. So uh, fantastic. I still think about it. It's a family I tour. Still, Not everybody can get in. I pretty cool. still want to do I mean if they do it again Robert is game. He'll take the whole day off. He's super jealous. He it's go. pretty cool. Um, I always wondered if they knew who we were walking. Like going oh, that I, I, I had that but I was like who watches this? Is that you I don't know. Because I thought that a couple <laughs> times because there's a couple Oh yeah, 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 and that yeah. they knew, and I didn't know who they we just were. Just dad so about I us. don't know who watches. Us <laughs> I don't know who tells him all of these things. But so here's a funny thing. So, so knowing all of that, right? That somebody down there, more than one, because then they start teasing him, and then I have to lay off the pot stories for a while. <laughs> and um, but now lately they've all been on Christmas break, and so there's other things going on. So and there's football, football had, and there's football season. Yeah. They have other things to watch. They don't want to watch me. <laughs> and you know I, why? Why are they watching? Right. But anyway, so here's what happened. So um, today, so I had to get a new phone, and some of you guys, I, and I've mentioned this a couple times. My old phone. Um, it wouldn't hold a charge. It had to be plugged in. It would only last like 30 it's minutes. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. And so then I had to go get a new one, and now it's an even bigger hot mess because... She changed it, providers. Oh, <laughs> so bad. So bad. Without consulting. And oh. she leaves in 15 days out of the country? Yeah. So yeah. super, super You'll be bad. You'll people we know how to get a hold of. So oh, that's my God. It's a whole nother... <laughs> whole nother drama in my life that I didn't need is that now I'm carrying around four phones. I'm carrying my old one, my new one. Um, and then Pa's phone also is not working. <laughs> so somehow they're connected and they're and not talking. Yeah, they're it's not, so it's, bad. It's as if it's as if the fo his line is the primary line and it thinks that my phone is like a Apple Watch. A, a Apple Watch. It's I don't know. Ridiculous. It's so bad. <laughs> anyway, whole nother story. Anyway, but that's why. So this morning, so here I am second day in a row. I have my two phones uh -huh. and Pa's two phones because I have to go back again and say, oh my gosh, you have to fix this for me. me. Yeah. So Pa does not have a phone. So at some point, um, I happened to know, or I think I heard the phone. I don't know if I was in the bathroom or in my office or whatever, and I heard it ringing. And that's the other thing is I can't turn up the volume. Remind me of that. Okay. I can't turn up the volume of my phone. So by the time I get to it, I notice that it's like the 764 number. And I thought, oh, Oh, I bet that's dad trying to call me oh, from, from the, yeah. the shop, which I'm um, from work. And I never really, I mean, whenever he calls me, it's always because he wants something, which sounds kind of funny, but I know there's a lot of husbands that'll call, oh, how's your day going? What are you doing? What's for dinner tonight or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your husband doesn't call you just to chit chat, does he? Mm, sometimes he does. But I never have time. Like, I don't have time for this. She's not going to tell me. But sitting right next to your boss, you're going to tell you? Come on. <laughs> Come um, on. But he sometimes does call just to chit chat because he's bored. So he oh. obviously thinks I have nothing to do. If he's bored, I I have to Robert's be super bored. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've, I've heard that tone. I am working. I got to. I'm, I'm working. I, got, I, got, I don't have time for this. And sometimes it's like, oh, well, you stop and do this, this, to this. Like, and I don't. And it's like I don't just walk into Walmart these days. I've got three children, so you gotta tell me at night so I know Walmart pick up in the morning for your bread, milk, and biscuits. You know, uh, I'm not going in there for that. No, well, I really yeah. need it. Go to stop at Aikens. Oh, it's gonna cost me like three dollars more. Well, you better start looking for change. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, I know that there are some husbands that call their wives just to be sweet. just to chit chat. Yes. You know, we have somebody who works here, and I think she gets like four or five calls a day. It's super sweet. It's so sweet. Pa does not do that. He doesn't call just to chit chat. He's not a phone He's guy. He's checking things so off when, his list. Yes. When he does call, it's because there's something that he needs. Like, yeah. can you stop at the store and get this? Or can you do this? Or I forgot to tell you, you need to do this. So it's always or, some this is what task. I want for dinner. And it's like nine o'clock yes. in the morning. I ain't got time for that. Yes. It's always a task. So, um, so anyway, so I missed a call this morning. I felt fairly certain that it was him. 
Mm -hmm. And so I decided, well, I'll call him back. So I just hit redial, thinking whatever phone at the PUD he called me from, maybe it would ring right to that phone. Oh, yeah. Um, possible it would go into a like a switchboard or whatever. So sure enough, um, somebody else answers the phone. And I said, oh, is Bri does Brian Rang happen to be standing right there? And he says, oh, no, no. Um, he's, and I said, oh, well, I was thinking I missed a call from him. And he says, oh, yeah, you got the control center. Um, he was up here just using the phone a little bit ago, but now he's left. And I said, well, this is Cindy, and um, he doesn't have his phone with him. And so uh, I think that's why he went up. But if you could just let him know that I have my phone in my pocket now, and I'll Next answer. Comes. And he says, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So then he's just for a minute, you know, he's friendly, and it was Colby. Yeah. Somebody that I know, and so we chatted for like two seconds. Oh, yeah, good, I'll tell him. Okay, great, and good to see you, whatever, or good to talk to you, whatever, click, click. Mm -hmm. So then... Um, so probably not quickly, but probably five minutes later. Per page him. Yeah. Pause phone rings. I thought, well, that's weird. So I grab his phone and it says Colby. So I answer. <laughs> Colby ain't got his phone. Like, Hello? <laughs> and he says, Well, this ain't Brian. And I said, no. I have his phone, which was why he was up in the control center Calling using me. your phone. So if you find him, have him call my <laughs> phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You said that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, I'll run him down for you. I'll run him down for you. And I said, okay, no, no rush. Worries. I'm just it's returning fine. his call. It's no big deal. No emergency. Oh, okay, great. Fine. So we hang up the phone. And then... That's hilarious. Oh, it gets worse. Did they, so, like, page him over the so intercom? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> five... <laughs> 10 minutes again, not super quick, but five, 10 minutes later, pause phone rings again. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, is, is Brian right there? And I said, no, this is Brian's phone. Um, and this is Brian's wife. Oh, hey, Cindy. Yeah, yeah. This is Willie. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, they're Willie. looking for Dad. <laughs> so. He does not have his phone. I mean, I didn't say it like that. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't no, have it. I, it's nothing. Uh, he not doesn't have his phone with me. With him. I have his phone. And he apparently tried to call me, but he doesn't have his phone with him. So if you it's just, okay. when you see him, no big rush. Say, hey. Just let him know that it's I have fine. my phone in my pocket. But he doesn't have his phone. Oh, yeah. You should never call. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I know. I know. And I <laughs> think, it, call I think it, okay. So how do these people find us, watch us, and tell him what we said? They, they, <laughs> literally. The a, power of telephone is A, a game of telephone. They can't, they lose. <laughs> they cannot get it. Right? It's like terrible. It's like, well, what is it? So then well, I my guess is someone's walking. It's like, hey, Willie, where's Brian? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, he doesn't have his phone. I have three guys <laughs> in the room. It's fine. It's fine. It's lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> well, funny. Finally, Pa does call. Did he say, who found you first? <laughs> And so, um, so of course, what he called me for, so was, again, just Need nothing important. Do. He needs something to do. Um, what he wanted to know was if it was sunny today. Is the sun out? Is the oh. sun out today? Because we got like two and a half inches of snow, and um, he doesn't want to shovel. <laughs> he was my picture. God was doing his work today. Um, Melting it away. Is it, is it melting? I said, Why is he worried? <laughs> I don't know. He's just trying to find his deck. He's just trying to plan. He's trying to d decide. Was he think tonight would be a better he, night than tomorrow? Well, night? he's just, you know, should he get off a little early? Because he was thinking maybe he should get off a little <laughs> early. Not it's a lot of snow. Today. And I said, well, it is sunny, but I would not say that it's hot. So I don't know How that it's melting. melting. So it's going to make it easy to shovel if it doesn't freeze yeah. first. So that was, that was what, I don't know how much PUD time was wasted. <laughs> Look at her. Just know so much Shannon. That's, that's what happened. Hilarious. I know. I know. I don't know how those guys you get to, it all together. Once, to, <laughs> once you put it, his phone together, you need to attach him to a ring phone. So if you want to know what's happening at home, just hit this button and it'll, boom, it'll be a picture. <laughs> You'll see. That's the sun. <laughs> but don't call me because he's something weird. I don't care. I don't care if he's your stray dog or a cat or a neighbor walking or somebody eating my strawberries. Just look at the sun. Yeah. Look at not the sun. Yeah. Did the sprinklers turn on? Look at the app. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Men. that's good. You're in so much trouble when he gets home. I know it. <laughs> Whoever's watching this, <laughs> it's, not, it's not her called you out. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. So let's see. So, um, all right. I think that's it for updates. Uh, there was just a couple of questions. One other thing too that um, people keep asking, and I think we mentioned it on the Sunday box opening, but we'll mention it again. The color that we talk about all the time, we mm. call it banana. Yes. We mean fig tree cream. Fig tree cream. It's a Moda Bella salad. Yeah. And but if you just one. type in fig tree cream, all separate words, um, into the website, you'll get yardage. Or occasionally we do have pre-cuts. I think we do at the moment. Those five, you do at the moment. Those five-inch squares or ten-inch squares go really fast. But yeah. um, we always we order it in um, like four, five bolts at a time. It's pretty much our white black fig tree cream. Yeah, fig those tree are cream. the. That's the one we use it a lot. Yeah. All right, and when the place is clean, and we can give you a tour, we'll show you some I'll show examples you where keep of that. It. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So there's two other things that we wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about this morning. One is um, retreats and one is the temperature quilt. Mm. So let's talk first about, um, so the retreats will go through the dates for you guys a little bit, but um, those will go on sale Monday morning, mm -hmm. the 15th at 830. You're going to get an email um, that says about them or you can get straight to the website. Yeah. And we'll talk about those in a second. And then um, the temperature quilt. Uh, we've been talking about that. A mm -hmm. lot of you guys are super excited about that. Um, we have the little video about how to kind of get started, which is just, you know, collect some information about your area, mm -hmm. decide which year you want to do. If you want to do your birth year or a child's birth year, whoever you're going to make it for, or you want to do this year or both at the same time, yeah. you're looking at about two hours of sewing um, a week. I mean, a month is what we think yeah. we can do. Um, we are all, all of us here are collecting <laughs> our fabric. All of us are going to do it and we will have a live YouTube class on the 18th, which is next Thursday Yes, at 11 a.m. <laughs> Pacific time. And that way it works out for a semi-decent time for our UK friends, our Germany friends, and our Australian friends yes. so that nobody is like, I mean, somebody's like six o'clock in the morning and somebody's like eight o'clock at night or something. That's but better than, you know, 2 it's better than 2 a.m. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so that's why we're picking that time. And that's when we're going to have more information. You don't have to be prepared to sew. No one's going to be sewing on the right. 18th. We're going to talk about patterns. We're going to see what sort of patterns you guys have picked. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you what questions. we're going to do, answer some questions, and we're still collecting information. And so, um, yeah. And then um, we will record that and we'll put that up. Yes, that's not it will be. It's like that's, it's live on YouTube. It will all be yeah. there so you can watch it later. Um, the other thing, if it's a time that you are certain you will not be able to attend it um, and you have questions, you have them written down, or you said you've been looking for fabric or looking up information, um, email those questions to info at fabricpatch.net. We will make sure we answer those questions, um, whether it came yeah. straight from your email or someone else's question. Um, we'll make sure everything's answered on the 18th so that when yeah. we have our date in February to sew for our January temperatures, everyone's on the same playing field. Yeah. And if you, if this is the first you're hearing of the temperature quilt, go ahead and go to the other video. Um, I'll have it, watch, I'll have it air next. Air next. Um, but it's just a fun thing that, you know, the high and low temperature for every day mm -hmm. of the year. Um, and it's kind of fun. Um, some people do just an average temperature, but um, there's ways to do just really quick little blocks so that it really is just kind of a graph thing that you're reading, or you can make it super um, mm -hmm. intricate. There's and I think all the, kinds of ideas. The fun thing that you have to get out of the box. I mean, it is something that's kind of contemporary. It's a little more free form. It's a little more out of the box, but you really have to get out, step out, realizing it's not something someone's going to read. After you're all right. done, it's just going to be a really pretty quote. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you That'll be really interesting. A really interesting story. That, how did you come up with that color palette? Well, God did. <laughs> God and I. We did it together. Yes. So yeah, it's something that don't get fixated on, you know, the exact colors or what the quilt's going to look like at the end. It's going to be totally different because mm -hmm. especially how your temperatures go, it goes from cold to hot to cold, or maybe you're balmy all year mm -hmm. long. It's going to be very, I'm excited scrappy. to see what everybody's looks like from all of our different areas. We are going yeah. to have door prize drawings every month. 
um, for the coldest temperature and the hottest temperature. And yeah, we'll kind of see. It's kind of fun, you know, and just to know that you're sewing with people from, you know, all over. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun picking my palette. Yeah. I'm almost done. I have 30 colors to choose because, you know, we're from this, you know, our, I'm going to do a three degree um, difference. And I have a few I have to fill in. But I've had a lot of fun combing through my fabric and deciding, ooh, do I really want to use this one? And you have pretty much, don't give it away, but you have pretty much picked your pattern. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I have too. I think so. Yeah. I'll have well, I'll have two things to show you um, on our live class. Um, the block that I think I'm going to do, I know, I know I'm going to do and not think, I know I'm going to do. And then my um, runner-up that I was thinking I was going to do that I think Marjorie is going to do. Oh. I think she likes it too. So we're all doing it. We're all excited. Lots of things to show you. Lots to chat. So yeah. Yeah. Um, 18th. January 18th. 18th live and if on there's YouTube. no um, charge for it, we'll have some downloadable patterns for you, or you can pick something else that you want to do. We'll talk about all of that, yeah. and then all of the. I think a lot of the YouTubers now are doing some sort of a membership thing that you have to pay, and then you get access to whatever. This is not that. Yeah. Free to all of you guys. And but lucky for you. We have no idea how to do we that. We don't know how to do that, so we're fine. Yep. And um, and all you have to do, though, is if you hit the bell for notifications, that what they have yes. to do, you want to, and that way you'll know when we're... Yeah, and we'll set it as a premiere once we get closer, um, yes. so that you can be texted or however you want to be notified. But yeah. Fun. Awesome. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk just a little bit about retreats. And so for some of you guys, um, a lot of you guys have been following us for years, and so you know all about this, um, and some of you guys are fairly new. So the deal is is that we have been in business for 25 years. We have mm -hmm. our uh, quilt shop. Um, we have our own pattern line. Um, we, uh, we do quilting cruises, and uh, we also have a retreat center. We've had the retreat center now since 2019. 18, 16, 16, 16. We started in 2016 with our first mm -hmm. one. We now have three. So we have one that will sleep 10, one that will sleep um, 22 plus. We have some bungalows that we can either add if you have more people or we use those if people come up to visit us and they mm -hmm. want to spend the night or spend the weekend and want to hang out with us. Um, uh, we also use them in retreats when we have married couples. And then now we have a small house. You guys mm -hmm. haven't seen a tour of it yet, and it's called Lake House, and it's for small groups of maybe four to five, not more than five. Mm -hmm. And so we have three different sizes of retreat centers, and it's all on our same block. We live, uh, Pa and I live right there on the corner, and so the retreats are right there. So we hang out the entire time. Um, so what you can do is if you have a group you can come and rent the place and kind of do your own thing. And that's what happens for about Majority 40 weeks out of the year. People will check in on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. They check out on a Sunday. They come and hang out and they do their own thing. Um, people do different things in terms of food and projects and whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but six times per year, we have our same times that we always use. Six times per year, we host a retreat. We've done it for 20 years, we've been doing it. And what's nice about that is that if you want to get away and have a quilting vacation and you just want to sew with friends and you want to bring your sewing machine or borrow one when you get here and you just want to sew for the weekend and have somebody else cook for you, we have a massage therapist that comes, we play games, mm -hmm. we just, we stay up all night, we drink more wine than we should, but no one's, you know, no one cares. You about have nowhere to go. You have nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we shop at the store after hours. We just, uh, we do box openings together. We have a great, great, great time. And that way you can bring a friend so that you have um, a buddy to share a room with, um, or uh, you can meet all new people. Yeah. doesn't matter. You can fly in and we'll pick you up or you can drive over or, you know, take the whatever train. similar, take train the train, here. all kinds of things that you can do. So, um, so, uh, and there's lots of details to that. And we have the flyer. The flyer will be emailed. If you are on our, um, uh, if you get newsletters already, you will get one of those. Mm -hmm. If you don't or your email is wrong or we go into junk or something else where it has happened, you can go to the website yep. and there's a little, um, um, the, our little menu bar. It'll say newsletter. Um, click on that and it will be right there also. And if you don't want to search through your emails, just go there first. It will be up at 8.30 Monday morning, the 15th. The reason that we're so specific about the date and the time is because some of the retreats quickly. fill up within like 30 minutes. Um, and then others take a little bit longer, but do not delay. So what happens is um, 
It's an all-inclusive. I mean, we will pick you up at the at the airport. We talk about that, about where you can fly into. And the other thing that I'm going to mention is that we will pick you up in Spokane. It used to be that we wanted you guys to go ahead and fly to Pasco because Pasco is closer. Pasco Airport is an hour and a half from us. Um, uh, Spokane is a little over two hours. But now flights are a little bit more expensive. And it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars more. So we figure, heck with that. Um, I'll mm-hmm. come and get Use you. Use your miles. Go to Spokane. Mm-hmm. Go to Spokane. We'll pick you up or we will coordinate rides. So we've, you know, there's different things that we can do to get you here mm-hmm. and back to Spokane. Um, Seattle, I'm not going to go to Seattle to pick anybody up. So Seattle, you're on your own. You can fly in there, get a car, come see us. <laughs> um, but Seattle, oh. Um, so anyway, um, enough about that. It'll say all of that kind of stuff on there. But what we do is it is um, five days. You arrive on a Wednesday. Um, so you stay Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, you leave on Sunday. So five days, four nights, all of your food Mm -hmm. is included. Your swag bag is included. Um, all of your instruction, you get two tables and a design wall. Um, if you need to borrow a machine because you don't want to carry yours, um, uh, we have a machine for Mm -hmm. you. All of that for only $899, which is really a pretty good bargain. We've not raised our prices for a couple of years. Um, I was looking, I am on a Facebook group that is retreats and we are pretty low priced Mm -hmm. because of, um, there's a lot of places that the retreat itself might only be $699, but you've got to get your own hotel room and they only provide, you know, lunch or something. So. Uh When you look at everything that you get in terms of lodging, food, instruction, Mm -hmm. and it you know, you get to hang out. Um, <laughs> girl time. Girl time. Uh, it's it's still pretty affordable. Yeah. <laughs> so all of them are priced that way. Uh, and that is based on a double occupancy. All of our condos are two twin beds with a bathroom. So you would share um, in one bedroom, there are two twin beds. So you will either bring a friend, like I said, and tell me this is who I'm coming with or I'm meeting my friend here, or um, we'll uh, put you with somebody that we think would be compatible. And then uh, you share a bathroom. Uh, so it's not communal living. I mean, I've been yeah. to retreats where there were 14 twin beds and one bathroom, which was not so great. Um, uh, this isn't this isn't super bad, mm-hmm. uh, but you do get your own table. You get um, basically eight feet of quilting space, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so there are six retreats this year. Um, One other thing I want to mention really quickly, and we say this all the time, but um, find the time that works best for you. Um, If there's a specific project that you want, I'm going to tell you what all of them are. We're doing a bag retreat. We're doing a beginner's retreat. Mm -hmm. We're doing our our Southern Comfort retreat again. Um, We're doing a Christmas retreat, machine embroidery retreat. But if you find that the only time that you can come is at the May one, Come to the May one. Yeah, we can do um, so anything. It, it doesn't matter. Um, Brianna and I are the instructors, um, mm-hmm. and then Tracy is doing her. She's doing her mixed media retreat. All three of us, we're the only instructors. It's just us. Mm-hmm. And so um, we don't care what you're sewing. I mean, I'm going to teach what I'm going to teach, but if you're over in the corner, you and your friend, and you're doing something different, I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah. Happy to help you if I can help you with that. Um, happy to do that. And the reason that I mention that is because for the first year in five years, we yeah. are not doing a collage yes. retreat. Oh. And we've always called that flower garden retreat. Um, and we're just, the reason that we're not is because I couldn't eke out another retreat and we wanted to do um, a bag one, a bag retreat. And mm-hmm. so um, next year, collage will come back next year, I promise. But if you really, really, this was the year you were going to come and you were going to make, make you all your a stuff big, ready. come. Yeah, do it it doesn't us. matter. Come to the one that is most important. Say, by the way, I'm making a collage quilt. Yay. Yeah. Fantastic. Come to any one you want. Come to the machine embroidery one. Right. And uh, we've done every yeah. year. <laughs> we have had sewers, yeah, not machine embroiders in September because that was when it worked best for them. Mm-hmm. 100% totally don't care. We are as casual in real life as we are. <laughs> It, we, just yeah. and hang we just want to have fun and hang out. We just want to hang out. Yeah. We want to hang out. Yeah. We, um, yeah, we're in our jammies and sweatpants most of the time, having a really good time. Mm-hmm. And um, and that's what's important. Is the only thing structured is when we get to eat. Becky yes. keeps us in tow of this breakfast time. She does. It's lunchtime. It's, oh, here's a snack. 
Oh, here's yes. their time. The rest yes. of it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We can make it work. Yeah. Yeah. And we're good it's with fun. all diet, you know, issues, people that are, yeah. you know, whatever. You just have to let us know. Um, but we're happy with all of that. So anyway, so I'm going to tell you, and the reason I'm just going to tell you, these are not for sale yet. You can't go to the website yet, mm -hmm. but it's just so that you have a few minutes, check um, your schedule. a few days, check your schedule, kind of be ready. Think about it a little mm -hmm. bit. If you have that birthday money you want to spend, um, you want to talk to a sister-in-law, a friend, maybe there's a friend, a buddy that you used to sew with all the time and now you are in Michigan and she's in California, meet. Yeah. Come. That happens a lot. We have a lot of friends that, oh, meet you know, it's meet cool. up, uh, which is really fun. Um, it's also possible for you to come a couple days early, stay late. There's other options in there. And again, we can That'll talk about more of that. And mm -hmm. yeah, so, all right. So I'm going to tell you the dates real fast. I'm just going to go through it kind of quickly. Um, mm -hmm. All of the information will be on the flyer, and it's about a four-page flyer. Yes, and if you have um, questions, <coughs> want to see if you this is the first time hearing about the retreat center, um, on our website, fabricpatch.net, on the tab, there is a retreat button. Um, and then if you go to our hosted retreats, it'll take you to the retreat center page, the fabricpatchretreatcenter.net. And you can see everything about the retreat center. You can see pictures, all of that, if, even if you have a group and you're thinking, oh, maybe my girls will want to come do that. All that information is there and that will be where the retreats will be when they're listed. But if you want to check that out or if your friend has no idea who we are and wants to check for themselves what this place is, that's where you're going to want to look. Um, and, and then you'll be ready for when the email goes out. Yeah. So last year when the um, retreats went on sale on January 15th, that's mm -hmm. what we do every year, the first one to fill up was the Southern Comfort yep. Retreat. Mm -hmm. We had talked about that for a while because we met our new friend, Jan Kalonic. Hello, Jan and yes. Roger, best friends. Um, and she was going to come up and teach us how to do some Southern cooking. And she came up and we ate. I don't even so remember. good. It was so good. It was so good. We were all a little lethargic, but <laughs> it was it was good. It was good. She has new recipes. Um, she did suggest, I think, I, I don't know if it was a text or an email or what, um, but she did suggest uh, squirrel brains, and I said, no. Nope. 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 Not going to mm -hmm. do it. Nope. We're good. She said, you know, I could do that. Could, you know, Roger, no. Nope. Bring some squirrels? Nope. No. No. Nope. Mm. So, um, so uh, it's, but it's still going to be um, Southern cooking. Okay. Cool. Uh, she's going to share new recipes. Um, I'm going to tell you that many of the recipes from that Southern Comfort Retreat we still use. Yeah, um, that's they true. have they made it into our repertoire of um, desserts Retreat and different food. things that we make. So um, anyway, uh, and then uh, we had some uh, recipe books. So we'll have the same thing yep. this year, just new recipes, new recipe book for everybody who comes, um, and a new quilt. I think last year we made a pineapple quilt. This uh -huh. year we're going to do a. Um, a Jacob's Ladder. Oh, and cool. so what's nice about that is that it's a couple of blocks, um, comes together pretty quickly. So it could be a beginner um, or just something kind of fast. Or again, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I want to come to do the Southern Comfort thing, but um, I'm going to make a collage or I'm going to finish my pineapple quilt, Fantastic. whatever. It totally doesn't matter. Just come to hang out. So anyway, that one, the Southern Comfort Retreat is the third weekend in May. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's right after Mother's Day. So um, you can arrive on either Tuesday the 14th or by Wednesday the 15th, and then you'll be leaving on um, Sunday, May 19th. And then we have Memorial Day weekend is the next weekend, and then starting on the 28th, uh, Tuesday, or the 29th on Wednesday is the Mixed Media Retreat. And that one is Tracy's. And so last year, that was a lot of fun. Gosh, you guys sent us a ton of stuff, and we did a ton of artwork. It was really a really a fun um, retreat. We don't take as many in this one. In the other retreats, we take 22 people. Mm -hmm. In um, Tracy's, we only take 12. Um, so really fun. She has two different projects that we're all going to make together. One is like a doll. And so there'll be um, multiple different pieces of media in terms of fabric and all cool. kinds of stuff. So that'll be really cute. And that's when hers is. And then the weekend afterwards is the bag retreat. And the other reason that I mentioned it this way is some people will come. If you're taking two retreats back to back, you can stay. That you one. can stay. Mm -hmm. We'll even clean your room. We'll even change your sheets and do all of that. But you can just hang out. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll talk more about that. But right after Tracy's um, uh mixed media retreat we clean switch clean switch bag retreat 
bag retreat. Fantastic. Bag retreat, you can fly in as early as the 4th um, or the 5th, um, Wednesday the 5th, and it uh, goes until Sunday the 9th. And we are making a different bag every day. We're making three bags, but those bags will be done by um, mid-afternoon. And then in the evening, you can either make a second one or we're cool. going to have a couple of um, trunk shows, a couple other demonstrations for specific things. So kind of a fun one. And again, if it's like, yeah, I want to come because that's a perfect weekend for me, but I don't want to make a bag, we don't care. Fantastic. Just come. And then uh, we have a weekend off, uh, Father's Day, uh, with nothing happening. And then, but right after Father's Day, on Juneteenth, Wednesday, Juneteenth, our summer retreat starts. And we think of our summer retreat really as the beginner's mm -hmm. retreat. You don't have to be a beginner to come, but um, the quilt that we're doing, I cannot think of it. What are we doing? Uh, I don't remember. Surprise. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> We're going to reveal it on the 15th. And um, and it's one that, and usually what we pick is we pick something that while you're making it, there is a cutting lesson, there is a pressing lesson, there's a color, how yeah. to choose fabric Last lesson. Last year it was star stepping, which yeah. is a, um, a uh, courthouse step block, which is similar to a log cabin block. So we did strip piecing, trimming, all that stuff. So it is something that is an just a very good beginner refresher whatever yeah something fun but again bring whatever you want if that isn't yeah. really what you're thinking that's okay too yeah just come hang out so with that so with what you want to work on or maybe we'll suck you in and work on what we're working on and then we come back to this uh alaskan cruise uh august 15th i'm going to come back to that in just a minute and then in september starting on wednesday the 11th um, is the machine embroidery retreat. And so mm -hmm. this is for, it doesn't matter, you don't have to sew on a faff. If you have a baby lock or a Bernina or a whatever, it's just a fun, if you really want to immerse yourself in machine embroidery mm -hmm. and do all of the different things that your um, embroidery machine does in terms of applique and thread play and all of this kind of stuff, it's a really good thing because then for five days that's what you're doing is you are just playing on that embroidery machine right. and again there's trunk shows involved and uh, Brianna has a really capable great assistant that helps mm -hmm. her so and that one she does um, I don't yeah. I don't do that one at all and that one is the second weekend in September and then finally the last one the sixth one is what we call the Christmas retreat and um, and it's going to be a little bit earlier this year. It is the last weekend in October. And the reason we did that is because um, um, I think last time it was, I think we were down to like the second weekend in November and we had some bad weather and yeah. we had some issues with people being able to get here and to be able and to, to get, get home. home. And so we thought, oh, we don't really want to risk that too much. And so we bumped it up just a little bit. And so we're going to have kind of a bra auction event. Uh, stay tuned for more information on that. And then the next weekend will be the um, Christmas retreat. And I think we call it the fall fun retreat mm -hmm. um, because it is in the fall, but the whole thing is related to Christmas gifts. And so what we do is it's all kinds of quick things, fun things. We have kind of a great big, huge kind of a trunk show. You get all of these patterns. It's mm -hmm. constant demonstrations. And you come with a list of who you're sewing for, the types of things you want to make, or heck no, I just have this quilt I need to finish, or I have binding I need to get on, and yeah. you know, come without any ideas at all. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We got you. And it will be the second one to fill up. I'm just going to mention that, one's that one is super, super popular. It's just a really um, fun thing because you can come and. Um, um, get everything done for Christmas. So, yeah. uh, and that one is, did I say that, that that's the last weekend in um, October, which is not Halloween. You would come on Wednesday the 23rd and you would leave on uh, Sunday the 27th. So, awesome. so those are the six retreats. You'll be able to sign up for those on um, Monday the 15th. And one other thing I want to mention is that if it's full, there is a waiting list. It costs you one penny to be on the waiting list. The reason for that is that there has to be like money that changes hands in order for us to have a receipt for you mm -hmm. and put you in line there. And then that way, um, there are always cancellations. Always. Yep. People Life say, happens. That's okay. I'm just going to get it right now. And just to know that I've locked that into mm -hmm. place and um, you have a full refund 90 days before the retreat. 
And we used to do 60, but 60 is not enough time for some people who are flying to get here. So um, we'll have all of that information on there. But if you just want to lock it down, um, there's always, I'll bet probably six to seven people yeah. that end up, you know, we end up getting you in. So if you really, really wanted to put that penny down and then um, we'll know in order that you're the third person for us to call. And you can still say, yeah, it's not going to work out for me anymore mm -hmm. um, or whatever, but at least it gets you in line. And you can even do that now i mean not now but on the 15th you can even even if there is room in the actual tree, retreat you can still put yourself on the waiting list i want to be if first you, one to call first one called because oh i'm not sure there's supposed to be a baby coming or i'm changing jobs and not quite sure or my boss wasn't here to talk to me i mean i don't know whatever if whatever happens you can be on the waiting list regardless of if there are spots or not available um for that retreat because right. i think it's a good time if you think oh i really like that one but i've got to do more chatting before i can make that decision mm -hmm. put yourself at the top of the waiting list um um, yeah. Other um, quick trick, if you are going to come with a friend, a sister, uh, a sewing buddy or whatever, um, have your put yourself down for two spots so that I know that you wanted two people on the waiting list so I know you are a pair. That if I'm calling you, you're not going to pick between us and her. It's two or none. Yeah. And we're okay with that. Yeah. It yeah. makes it super easy because it, it hurts our feelings when we call you and say, hey, there's a spot. You say, oh, well, I really want my sister. But well, what oh, about Beth? Oh, there's sorry. no room for Beth. So that puts you in a weird spot. It makes us feel bad. So put down two. Um, even if yeah. you're not sure when we call you and you're saying, hey, we've got two spots, you can say, oh, well, it's just me this time. You know, whatever happens. Um, that's okay, too. It's better to be, you know, win-win all the way around. Right. Right. Good tip. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go backwards just for a second and talk about uh, cruising. So uh, we do, uh, once a year, we do a kind of a quilting cruise where it's really geared towards um, quilters that want to get together and do something. And so we have done, we did a river cruise where we did all handwork. And then we did a river cruise where we took sewing machines. Mm -hmm. We did a Mediterranean cruise um, where we went over and... Um, <laughs> Life happens. <laughs> Life happens. I got COVID, did not get on the boat, but whatever. Had a great time anyway. And then um, now what we're doing is we, I am leaving in two weeks, I think in 18 days, mm -hmm. um, we are going on an Indonesian cruise. We are going down to, uh, we are getting a tour of the Hoffman Batik so factory cool. um they don't do that anymore they only do it with very specific Special groups invitation. so we're super excited about that and other things um and um and when we do something like that and we're going international it's very difficult to take sewing machines and we've learned our lesson about bringing all of this other stuff i have three duffel bags um that are uh the most the heaviest one was 68 pounds because they could be not more than 70 pounds and then the others are like 50 pounds swag um, bags baby swag bags of all of the stuff and all of the class stuff but it's mostly kind of lecture which is a little bit different but yeah anyway um so that's going to be a little bit different um system but what we're doing is um in august we are going to, and I'm going to come back to that for a second, but in August, we're going to Alaska. We're going to do an Alaskan cruise, mm -hmm. and we will be taking machines again. So cool. And we will be actually sewing on that one. And so um, so just FYI, if you've cool. been wanting to do that and you want to sew or you want to do all of that, then um, um, August 15th. And I think we, if they... Uh, isn't there a cruise with us tab? There is. I need to update that. I don't know if I have the flyer for my August retreat up yet or August cruise yet, but it will be. Right okay. now you can see I need to take off the Mediterranean uh, or Indonesia. Yeah, because you can't go um, now can't if you want now. to. It's too late. Um, you'll see Egypt, but I'll put the Alaska one on there. I don't think it's on there yet. Yeah. Uh, we're also doing an Egypt trip in October, and that is just a... Um, uh, it's not really a sewing trip. Not that you Just wouldn't fun. take your knitting or your applique or whatever you want to take, but um, sometimes it's just the idea that you want to go on a trip and you want to go with friends, go in a group. Mm -hmm. It's way more fun to go in a group because then you're kind of traveling in a little bit of a pack. There's mm -hmm. some safety in numbers. Somebody else is taking care of all of the details and the people, the, the two guys that we travel with from RGE Travels, um, they are there with us and mm -hmm. they take are care leading. The, yeah, take care of everything. There you need to know single that thing. thing you have to do. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And some people have been kind of concerned about going to Egypt with kind of what's going on over there, but um, it 
um, they say no. The all of the Egypt trips. I mean, it, they Egypt gets their money from tourism, and every week people are showing up, and um, it's not been affected. Mm -hmm. So some people have been nervous about that, but the guys say no. Don't be nervous at all. It's all fine. Not affected by that. Go ahead and go over. Uh, we're still planning on going, and that's in October. But I want to go back for just a second. No machines at Egypt totally sewing and hanging out. We'll have our own special room just like we did on the Columbia River cruise. Same same style of same style boat. boat. Same not well no. I think it's, it's a little a, bigger it's a cruise ship. I think it's a ship ship. Ship ship. I think it is. I think it's I on know, ship, ship. I should know this the boys if they're watching they're gonna be mad. It's on a celebrity. Yes. It's not the riverboat cruise. No. But we still will have our own private room with our own sewing machines that you can go in anytime and you can yes. sew so it will be a little bit different. Um Anyway, um, the other thing that we needed to mention, and we've um, announced last night to the people who are going in Indonesia, we need to tell the rest of you guys, is that... I'm not going. I am going to hold down the fort, but for a good reason. So before you get... It's okay. It's all good. I have cried about it. We're good about it. Um, she has to FaceTime me at 3 o'clock and whatever morning when they're touring Hoffman. I know. She has to see everybody will have to FaceTime me. Um, because Maisie will not be... Um, Immunized. Immunized. I mean, she just has her one-year shots, but for polio, for all of those bigger, scarier ones, she's not fully vaccinated until she is four years old. And going to Indonesia, there's um, there, uh, um, what our understanding, and this is even on the CDC website, yeah. it's everywhere, and um, there, our um, um, family physician said that she's not fully immunized and should not travel to those sorts of countries until she's four years old. Yeah. There are issues with polio, rubella, and... Mm. What's the other one? There was another big one. Um, yeah. And so she is not protected. And so the whole idea of risking it, no one wants to do that. Uh, yeah. And, and I feel like, like I'm not going to leave her at home and let's go party. I know that was the other option. <laughs> That's what the boys said. We have leave. Well, can't can't she stay home? Go? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't even know that I can be away from the kids <laughs> for two weeks. And then the other thought was, well, me, me and Robert will come in after the cruise just to the whole, you know, actual in Bali thing um, for just a couple days. But going that far, I don't, I think traveling 19 hours on a flight um, for Robert to be for there for a $4,000 plane ticket. I don't think Robert would be okay with that. So we're going to wait. No. We're going to go on Alaska with everybody because yes. we'll have Maisie go with us and everything. And the other thing we were thinking of is like even like chicken pox. Something so simple, but having on the cruise ship with other kids, she could get chicken pox. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're going to stay home, hold down the fort, keep um, Maisie, you know, to local Safe germs. and healthy. Yeah. So yeah. we are, um, we are staying home. But that, I feel like, it's for me, I, I don't want to risk that. It's not worth risking. There's it's not worth every single no. person's We can go back. Thing. You wouldn't even question. We'll still young we'll go enough. back. So we, there. so the good news is in about four years, we will be going back to Indonesia. We will yes. be going back to the Hoffman yes. warehouse. So, so if you didn't get to go this time, Bali start jar. saving your money. Yes. Uh, and then go then. Yeah. But in the meantime, we are all um, in August. We are all Alaska. going to Alaska, mm -hmm. August 15th. So. And my kids are okay, so you guys already know that they already knew they were going to be able to go on a big boat. Yeah. You know, they after away. Christmas. And they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. It's going to be Wyatt during is, uh, Wyatt's birthday. They've changed, yeah, and we're good now. They don't even care. Wyatt is sad that you're going on vacation without him. Um, <laughs> so there was that. There were some tears. Like, hey, she'll be back. She's coming back. She's going to leave for a little bit, and then she's coming back. You won't even know. So... You'll have to FaceTime us at some point because yes. he was yes. like, well, Nana, where's Nana going? He's like, why are we crying? Why is she going? <laughs> so, I know. It was cute. So we'll be here hanging out. So, so. it'll be good that she's here. Yes. Uh, so uh, that'll be really good. And it'll be really good that they're going to um, Alaska. So, yeah, we're super excited about yeah. that. So anyway. Okay. I think that's it for the updates. That was a whole lot of updates. That was but, a whole lot. Uh, and then... um. We will see you tonight at five o'clock for box opening or whatever we might have box to Box opening it. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net. Quiet on the set. <laughs> we got tapes a lot and breathes a lot over here. <laughs>